you I love the things you said you said to me to me it seems like you like me too we can take it so make sure we do this right cancelled all my plans to be with you tonight Just sit with me Talking to the night until the morning Building chemistry I don't think I ever wanna go Come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think We were meant to be Ooh, So I've already checked into my area and it's in a really nice part of Munich. It's like in the downtown area. And um, yeah, first thing we're gonna do is get some stuff. Cause I need like house shoes so I can walk. I need to get a lock, cause I'm in a hostel and I don't trust these people. And I need to get food because food is vital and essential. So going to Munich was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Just seeing a new city, seeing the new surroundings, being around a different type of people, different aura, if you will. It was pretty cool. Until after like 10 minutes of getting there, I dropped my camera and I broke a piece of my audio equipment. So I was just headed to the store, and yeah, I was just walking on the way there, and right when I got out, I dropped my camera right on the head. Now the audio jack doesn't work, and I got to try to fix it right there, the little thing. Bruh, I've been in here for 20 minutes. I've been immune. 20 minutes. <clears throat> I was there for like 10 minutes. So bad news, uh, this thing is absolutely, well it's not absolutely done. I could probably solder it, so I'd have to get a soldering gun. But I have a soldering gun at home and I don't want to buy one here just because I'm in another city. So um, we're just going to let this be. Yeah, I think the big thing is that for me right now coming to Munich is that I need to get in a creative space while I'm in Germany. I don't know long, how long I'm going to be here, like in Deutschland as a whole. But we're gonna get some very good content out. But I think I'm gonna get really nice and pretty and then go out to eat. So if I see you later, I see you. But if I don't, till next time. And I know that as a YouTuber in the space that I'm in, if I'm going to this place and I know somebody over there, then I should give them a shout and just let them know that I'm around. So, being the person I am, having absolutely no friends, most of my friends are YouTubers. And because I was going to Munich, I had a meeting person named Haley Alex. You already know who he is. If you're watching me, you probably already know who she is. So I let Haley know, said, hey, I'm gonna be down in your city, in your hood, on your stomping grounds. If you ever had time or if you're doing anything or not doing anything, let me know and we can link up and do something cool. So we decided to link up a couple days later. Now one thing about being a YouTuber, like you gotta film everything. So when we linked up, we literally had videos planned. We were gonna do all this different stuff. We we're gonna film some of the stuff. It's gonna be really cool. But Mother Nature is a Do it! Do it now! So to make a long story short, when I met up with Haley, we had this grandioso plan devised. She told me she was gonna take me to a restaurant that was highly regarded in the city. In order to get there, we had to take two different buses. Now, not only did we have to take two buses, we ended up trying to take the bus and went the wrong way twice. So that's four buses. And as soon as we got on the buses, it started raining like crazy. It was wet. We're walking around with hundreds slash thousand dollar camera equipment in our hands. For some reason, I didn't even bring a bag. I literally had two cameras 
while I was walking in my hand like they were like I was double wielding on 007 or something I'm just so happy before we even started when it first started raining like that little drizzle stuff Haley recommended that I should probably get an umbrella and usually I wouldn't do it because I'm not an umbrella guy I'm a throw your hood up and let's do this but I decided you know what we're in Haley's town so let's just do whatever Haley says so we did that and once we got to this restaurant after walking in the rain, then when we got there, we figured out that the line was so long, we probably wouldn't get a seat. So we end up going back to the place from once we started, where we first met like four hours ago, literally across the street to get pizza. And once we went into that line, we stood there for about an hour or so in the rain half of the time and I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of worth it because that pizza was fire. Yes, yes, baby, yes. <laughs> Only problem is because of this rain, all the shots that I wanted to get with Haley, the video that I wanted to do with her, it all went to shambles. The original camera that I had, for me, it was a little too expensive for trying to risk it in the rain. Now, I did have a backup camera that doesn't cost as much, but the only lens was on there was super long, and literally, like, all the shots I got are, like, all up in Haley's face, and it does nothing for, it's not flattering. I'm very sorry, Haley. I, I dropped the ball on that one. So reasoning slash day number two. Now initially, this wasn't really my girlfriend's fault, this was kind of my fault. Now this is because a friend of mine from the military when I was in asked me if I wanted to go with him paintballing. Now, you know how when you hear an idea and it's like, man, that idea sounds dope and I totally want to be a part of it. So you say yes. But then when it comes down to the day, you're like, I don't have time for that. And during this time, I had this conversation. I was just like, yo, I don't know if I can go, I just can't afford it, what I'm trying to do right now, the daily stuff, da 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 She's like, you know what, if you say you're gonna do something, you should do it. And I was like, yeah, I know, I say that all the time. And she was like, well, okay, don't do it. And then I was like, no, you don't tell me to don't do it. If I'm not gonna do it, it's because I don't wanna do it. <laughs> So we did it. We end up going to check with my friend in order to play paintball. Now, the cool thing about this paintball session was that I didn't know exactly how much I would enjoy it. I absolutely loved it. And especially from being a soldier and going through that period in my life where, you know, had to clear rooms, where you had to load your magazines, you had to check the clip, all this other stuff, it felt so good. It was like a nostalgic feeling. And I was just so happy to do it. You load them upside down. Here's the ammo. Put it in upside down. Reason because you have it on. You should have it on your was it non-firing hand. So as soon as you take it out, see how it is. And you know and once we got there obviously my girlfriend she didn't know about any of that stuff she wasn't planning on doing anything but then they asked her like hey do you want to shoot and one of the big things I like about her she's always down for the ish you know what I'm saying so she was like yeah I would but we didn't have the equipment so she couldn't do it but she was our camera girl you got some really cool shots I'm so proud of you boo
But the only thing about it is that when we went there, there were three girls, three German girls, and they just asked if they can, you know, go shoot with us, whatever you want to call that. It was like, yeah, sure, of course, you know, and I'm feeling kind of bad, you know, not to be sex or something, but I was like, I've been in the military for almost 10 years. Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, you know, and I'm not gonna take it easy on you. I'm gonna fire you up, you know, that's just how I am. And these girls were like, oh, it's okay, you know, yeah, it's all good. These girls were Deutsch military. And I'm not even gonna lie to you, I was so upset because they were lighting my ass up. We played like seven games, I shot and killed nobody. The last game, the, one of the girls shot me in the head. Shot me in the head, and I had no idea where she was. I quit. I'm not gonna lie, I quit. I had to go, but I quit. But it was such an awesome experience. I'm very glad I got to do that with my friend, and I cannot wait to do it again. Actually, we have a really big video planned for that when I go on that day. It's gonna be like almost documentary style. You know, gotta flex those filmmaking muscles. And one of the coolest parts about this trip was actually having my girlfriend try a MRE for the very first time. Now, if you don't know what an MRE is, that is basically like army food. That's the stuff like, if you're in the military, in whatever branch that you're in, when you go to the range and you're shooting, or if you're deployed, or if you go places and you're gonna be gone for a long time, you need to feed your troops. It's basically like a meal in a box. You know, you probably know what that is. So she got to try it for the first time. Now, her responses weren't really that funny, but I really like her facial expressions. It's like she had to sniff everything and make all these faces. She's always making faces. So that's what, what I eat when you're going to that, like deploy Afghanistan and stuff? Or? I mean, I like my first food. We're, we're, for, we're forced yeah. to eat it though. You don't even look like food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like when you're forced to eat it, it's different. It hit different. Like, you feel like, yeah! Ooh, MRE! This is, I'm a soldier now! <laughs> no, no. It's no. like they plug you up inside so you don't gotta go to the bathroom. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's all good stuff. Take a shit for yeah. <laughs> that's what the gum's for, though. Time. <laughs> Bay, no, it's good, though. No, it's good, try it. Especially this, this is the best one. I, I like the uh, Asian beef strips. Oh, they got real. They probably got fucking cheese. <laughs> a nice Slice spread. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, yo, we just. What you got, Bay? <laughs> we got some drugs. Yeah. <laughs> For the pound cake. I like it. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how to heat it up. Enjoy. Give me a little bit, Mac. What you need all this for? This is your microwave. This is microwave. Gotta uh, rip it open at the tear. All right, just like that. Don't take it off. Yeah. So you pour a little bit of water in here. No, you. You make a little bit. bomb with that? Yeah. See, so you already overfilled it. No, 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 no. Now sit it sideways like this. They said they were going to do a little Texas Pete for a little bit and they stopped seeing them. I don't know why they... It's not that they've done it again. Oh, yes. It's just yeah. that MRE. All right, now. We had not enough blood in the direction. Maybe this is hard, inexperienced thing. I'm sure we have crack with it. Raisins? We probably have to have crack, I hear, somewhere. Which raisins in German? I think it's raisins. Raisins. <laughs> yeah. Good. 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 You look in your bag. Wow. 
Is that bad? No, it's a Yeah. It looks like a little bit, right? Yeah, the flavors are a little bit, but... Yeah, but... To survive. Okay, so round number three, last but not least. The biggest reason why I couldn't do my daily stuff and the one day where I figured out, you know what, I cannot worry about videos every day right now is because we end up going on a trip or a kleine Erlaub to Hamburg. And this was because at the time she was on a break from work and I was also taking a break and we just wanted to do something together. She told me that I had the ability to work but I didn't think that was fair. Especially since she kind of works pretty hard and she does a lot. So I figured that I would give something to her and be like, all right, let's just go on a small vacation. What's the bridge called? Um, I think the biggest part about this vacation is one of the hotels that we end up getting was a little cabin style hotel. And I think it's like one of the only ones in Germany right now. And going there, the staff there, having the experience that we had in Hamburg, going to the Reaper Bond and doing all that stuff was really cool. So I wouldn't take it back for anything. But now it's time to get to work. So these are the three reasons how my girlfriend made me lie to you guys. <laughs> Obviously, that's a big, huge of a stretch. It's not necessarily her fault, but I just thought it was funny. Do it! Do it now! Now, no lie, I wasn't gonna let this video ride. I was gonna put it in something else, do a whole nother project with this, but in true mega vlog fashion, I was like, why not just stick it in here? It really doesn't have a place, and I don't know if I'll be using it in the future. And I thought it was hella funny, so I thought I would do it. So, just to give a little bit of context, when we were on our trip in Hamburg, I found myself a little bit of frustrated. I always want to continue making videos and content. I want to get my business going up. I want to work on this stuff 24 hours, 9 days a week. So, I just said, you know, sometimes I wish you can just vlog and you can edit videos because then I can just chill and take a break. And she was like, you know what? Hey, I'll take all the help I can get sometimes. <sighs> What's wrong, you okay? I'm trying to make a video. Like, I've been trying to do this. I said I was gonna do it every day. But it's really hard and it's annoying. And then I know I said I'm gonna do it every day and then I don't. And then people are like, hey, you always say you're gonna do something. I just can't do it, but I don't have the time to do it on my own. Like I can't always do this by myself. And it's really hard. Bruh, you know what? I'ma do it, okay? You gonna what? Do a video? I do it. Just give me a laptop, I do it. I got this. Today is my turn. I'm gonna be the soldier of life today. Are you scared? <laughs> Are you scared what will happen to your camera and me? No. Today, I'm a soldier of life and we're in Hamburg. And I will Deutsch and English reden. 
ich werde alleine in die Stadt gehen und ja, werde suchen oder werde schauen, was ich äh, alleine alles hinbekomme. And I'm gonna make a little, maybe, travel vlog. It's gonna be Denglish, so. And yeah, I'm a little bit excited and nervous. I never did this before. But, yeah, let's go get it. Oh, this is the hotel where we're in. Cap 20, I love it. Now, to be honest with you, I'm very glad that she vlogged and did what she said she was going to do. She's really cool for that. But I'm not going to lie. I forgot to change the settings on the camera. Now, I know how hard it was just to start vlogging in general with a phone not feeling weird. But on my camera, I have for vlogging, the one that she used was an A6300, which is, you know, professional kind of great camera. And she doesn't know how to use cameras and I usually vlog in manual settings like I like to do everything on my own I like to control my entire image and she didn't really know how to do that so uh, it's gonna be a little bit blown out so I'm walking through Hamburg and here's a street with all the pimps and all the special girls out here and every time I walk through here they be lurking they be lurking and I feel like I'm a, I'm a meat, I'm a fresh meat walking up in here. Yeah. It always gets me scared when I walk through here, but this is all right. Cause I would cut you. If you touch me, I would scream and run. Yeah. But other than that, it's weird to walk around and talk into a camera. And I never did this before. I'm a girl, I take a lot of selfies. But I never did this before. But I'm spontaneous. I like to experiment. Really quick, I had to cut into this. Her description, doesn't it sound like she's like on a dating profile website? Like that, that just sound kind of weird. Okay, let's continue. Don't get it twisted. I'm so nervous. But I gotta do it because I told Mr. Soldier of Life that I got this. And I will try to talk randomly to people. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I don't know how to focus. I think it's focused now. So. Right. I don't even know if I'm allowed to record here. I'm gonna just do it. Ah, this is how you make it darker. There you go. See, I got this. Soldier of life, I got this. I hope I don't step in caca. to find the way to downtown also downtown downtown and I want to see if I can find it by myself and maybe buy something buy something like some clothes a shirt or something from Hamburg so yeah Let's see if I can find it. And I'm gonna film the people because I don't care. I don't care.
there's so much. It's crazy. I think one thing in my life, if I can ever go back and do something different, is those small times that you have, that small downtime, actually take advantage of it because you all need breaks. We need to regenerate our stuff. We need to get our, you know, mojos going again. And that's what vacations are really for. I never really had that before in my life. I literally didn't go on vacation until I came to Germany and I was like 20 seven, eight year plus years like living on this earth without no vacation. So it was really good to actually do that, actually take that little bit of time off, but it's time to get back to work. And she did make me lie to you. I don't care what she says. I don't care if she writes something different in the comments. She made me lie. So uh, that's all I got for you guys today. It's your boy Chris and Jerby. I'm gonna see you tomorrow for real this time. Let's go. Yo, what is up, Soul Fam? It's your boy Chris in Germany with Soldier of Life. And in my family, we take ownership for the things that we do and that we don't do. I'm just here to tell you that uh, here are the three reasons why my girlfriend lied to you guys. And that's why I'm not making videos every single day. Excuse me.